If Dr. Fez was going to Comic-Con Africa, he had to go in the spirit of the event, which meant getting into character. So the first stop was Hollywood costumes, where there are almost no limits to what they can do. Wow, Heidi, it's so good to be in your store today. I feel like a child in a costume store. I know everybody's been super excited about Comic-Con Africa, but how's it been for you and your business? It's been good for my store and I had quite a lot of people that came in and we custom made quite a lot of costumes for people. We manufacture masks out of latex products, we use leather, we use fiberglass, we mold things, we make things, we make magic. The dark night is good for some, but Doc wasn't feeling it. Though Deadpool was fun, no one can out Reynolds Ryan Reynolds, so Fez kept looking. Had he found his superhero mojo in the red and yellow of the Flash? Or would he channel his inner Ariel and go as the not-so-little mermaid? Oh, guys, Aquaman, king of the seven seas, come on. I rule the oceans? No? No, Fez, for the sake of the children. So you found what you were looking for? <laughs> yeah, so it's the next stop now. Comica. The event was sold out. Fans were here to meet the stars and to take part in a fantasy world. Many in costumes they made themselves for the role play competition. So I'm finally here, Comic Con Africa, and I feel like regular old Fez isn't gonna cut this one. It's time. My alter ego. Don't blink. You're gonna miss this one. This looks a lot faster on camera because they're CGI. Obi Wan Kenobi of Star Wars was big with parents who grew up in the 70s. Raiden was a hit with 90s gamers. Clearly, I found somebody who loves Mortal Kombat. I'm more of a Tekken guy myself. But, dude, how is it like having Comic Con come to Africa? Oh, it's amazing. Like, to have one of the most like comics and anime and everything all here at cosplay is amazing. Look who we have found! What are you doing here at Comic Con? I actually uh, I was in Pretoria and then just remembered oh it's Comic Con now because I'm actually from Cape Town so, and then found some people and I was like dude I'm coming now and then uh, yeah mission through so I'm here for the day excited it's really cool I've walked around a bit it's really fun. I've found a member of the Justice League finally. What brings you to Comic-Con? Well, I'm actually from Cape Town, so I flew in just for Comic-Con. I am super, super excited. It is extremely amazing. My first time, as you can see my costume, I love, love, love it. Love the experience, the food, amazing. Everything is just so, so great. Love it. Fans came to hear panel discussions on science fiction and fantasy TV shows with stars like Australia's Travis Fimmel from the series Vikings. Travis, brother. You've been to a number of Comic-Cons in your time. I have to ask, where's Comic-Con Africa ranking? I think it's great, mate. People are so nice here. It's relaxed. It's fun. Everybody's having fun. It's how Comic-Con should be. You know, nobody's here to sell stuff, which a lot of them are now. Comic-Cons is a real sales pitch. But uh, this is just fun and great for the fans and great costumes. And Ragnar was one of my favorite characters. But why do you think Vikings resonate so much with the audience? But this is the first time we really got to know the Vikings and um, so we shot in Ireland with beautiful landscapes and um, I don't know, I, I know there's a real um, human relationship drama. It seems like Warcraft, Vikings, there's a bit of a theme in that fictional world. Is that something you're drawn to? Uh, no, it had family aspects in it. I just like the relationship stuff. I, I lose a son in that film. And, uh, and uh, it's very family orientated in Vikings. I do well with sons and uh, seem to be a very bad father wherever I go. <laughs> yeah. It's called tough love. Yes, tough love. Thank <laughs> See, you. It's not bad. Somebody gets it. Yeah. In comic book fan culture, the writers and especially the illustrators are the rock stars. Here to autograph copies of his comics was a homegrown talent born in Butterworth, who's put his own superhero on the world stage. Guys, we are in for a treat today. We have the creator of Quiz, Lohi Somkise. Listen, I have to ask, what inspired you to create Quiz? 
What inspired it initially was the lack thereof, a South African superhero. I grew up reading comic books, so we're talking Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, the X-Men, you name it. And I'm from the Eastern Cape, so getting those that stuff was quite a mission, right? But i um, always been passionate about comic books. But as, soon as I grew up, I always wondered, well, who's going to do a South African superhero? So when I had worked at Super Strikers as head illustrator, got my chops as an illustrator, I figured, you know what? Maybe now's the time. I won't lie, I did buy the very first issue when it came out. I was loving it. But why did you decide to go with the powers that you went with? Like superheroes basically embody our highest aspirations as human beings, really. We all want to fly. We all want to be super powerful. We all want to be invisible, etc., etc. So that's exactly what I did with the character. I wanted to start him off from a very, you know, from base level and have him earn his powers by doing right, by going out there in Josie and seeing what type of you know, baddies he can fight off, right? And then and how he can earn his stripes. So it's a very endearing story because it's a coming of age story. This is really, really great for South Africa. It's a modern story, you know, with African aesthetics. It says a lot about our people in a very modern way. And this is a powerful movement. This is just the beginning. The world is not ready. <laughs> Gaming tradition youngsters often go on to develop and perform in fantasy series. And Yatide Bedaki from American Gods is one of them. Yatide, it's so good to have you back on African soil. Welcome back. Oh, it's First so good to be here. You've been to so many conventions all around the world. How are we matching up here in Africa? Are we doing it justice? For this to be a first time event and uh, the first time in a continent, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I've already said probably that you're going to have to start turning away, you know, celebrities because I'm just going to be bragging to everybody about, oh, well, you know, wow. at South Africa Comic Con. Um, no, it's it, it's been absolutely incredible. It's uh, it's it's a beautiful thing, and I'm excited to see um, where it continues to go. And you've actually been in a game, Call of Duty. How was that? You're in this big box with a bunch of other people in funny suits with cameras attached to your head, but then you all make this agreement on what this world is, and you just go into pure make-believe together. So it takes absolute trust, and it's also absolute joy. It, it is like being a child again. Whether you're crazy for Lord of the Rings, a fan of Scooby-Doo, read every Harry Potter book, or dream of being a stormtrooper, this was your weekend. My Comic Con experience has been awesome. This is really nice. I've been to some of the international ones. And trust me, South Africa, we're doing great. This is awesome. I'm absolutely loving it. It's a little warm. Rubber was a bad choice. But uh, my one of my favorite artists, Ricardo Federici, is here. He drew me in a not so recent comic book. And uh, yeah, I got to meet him. Doesn't speak a word of English or, or Atlantean. Wow, what inspired this? I love the steampunk and I'm wild about lime green. So I decided to combine the praying mantis and the steampunk together. For those wanting to connect, there was LARPing or live role playing. Also, cosplay competitions with international expert Yaya Han in full Mulan costume. Yaya, you're going to be one of the judges for the cosplay competition. What are some of the judging criteria you're going to be looking at? Well, the championship this weekend is all craftsmanship based, so we will take a look at the contestants and also speak to them and learn about the process, how they made their costumes, and um, it's really just about finding the most deserving champion, uh, the most hardworking winner to go represent South Africa in Chicago next year. It sounds like so much goes into it, not just the aesthetics of it, but the effort, clearly. But what does cosplay mean to you? Cosplay really combines um, fan expression with creativity and artistry. And I don't think you can get that through any other pastime. 
you know, uh, through cosplay, people can really become their heroes, characters that they grew up watching that influence their lives, and they can meticulously recreate the outfit and become that character. And I think that passion is what we all feel in some way for something, and through cosplay, you can express it. So, so I think that is really why it resonates with everyone. For her rendition of Monster Hunter World's Ne Gigante, Taylor Barta won a VIP ticket to the Comic and Entertainment Expo in Chicago.